there's a bit of a snafu. So I asked my mom, by the way, I'm home if you didn't notice, where her scale was because I couldn't find it. And I asked, did you throw it out by any chance? She couldn't remember, so she went looking for it herself and lo and behold, she couldn't find it either and assumed that she did throw it out. And then followed up with, I don't like scales anyway, they're too depressing. So I don't have a scale to measure my weight progress. And here's my predicament. I could go out and buy a scale, but when I go back to New York, that means I would have to take it with me because my mother has stated that she doesn't want a scale in the house, but I already have a scale back in New York, so that would be a waste of money for me. I mean, I could just keep it here while I'm here and then throw it out, but again, that's a waste, so I, I'm torn on what to do. But I do have this, and I'm wondering if I can get away with just measuring myself to figure out my progress. So I might have to do that. If this doesn't work out, then maybe I will just bite the bullet and get a really cheap scale. I don't, I don't know, I just don't like wasting money like that. So here's what you missed. Last time I took measurements, 629. So it's been a while. So I was doing really well in New York City and I got down to 298 on the scale. But then the struggle train came into the station and it all went down the hill from there. So I got into a bad headspace and I wasn't able to cope with something. And because of all of that, I just, everything I'd been working on went downhill. I started emotionally eating again. It was really bad. Where's my waist? So my weight went up and before I left, I weighed myself and the scale's 308 pounds. I know a few of those pounds are water weight because my time of the month is approaching and I can feel the bloating, but I still gained weight from how I was eating, which sucks. So yeah, and I don't have a scale. So I have no idea where my weight is at at this time. All right, so this is my starting point. The measurements are the same as in June with the exception of the chest, which is like what? one inch but also i don't know i could have measured incorrectly so whatever i'm just gonna say 50 no matter what and so we begin the best part of this is that i don't have to wear a mask What's not the best part? There are too many hills in this neighborhood. Um, the pan is definitely on, but I, I don't know what's going on. We persevered, that's what we do. Voila, the finished product. Let's see the most important part. Ah, yes, success. Bon appetit. I've reached that point where I've measured out cereal. <laughs> so this is Special K, and the serving size oh. is one cup equals 170 calories. So I measured out two cups, and then I'm gonna put milk in it, but I have to measure that out. But still, not high in calories, unfortunately high in sugar. But I've been doing really well with sugar. Most days it's low. Some days it's high, but it's within the range that's on my fitness pal, so. Oh, this is wild. I'm okay with that, honestly. I'm okay with that. downloaded this women's workout app and that was just a four minute arm workout that I've been doing and it hurts it's only four minutes it hurts so I mentioned this already on my Instagram which you may have seen if you follow me there for many years I thought that I had to exercise a certain way when it came to losing weight I thought that I had to go to a gym, I had to do the treadmill, I had to do weights, I had to do a high intensity aerobic 
exercise at home or hit or whatever crazy cardio there is out there but i could never fully get into that kind of workout i would try i would do it for a while and then i would just get bored and then i would stop and that was part of the reason why i wouldn't exercise because i i didn't like what i was doing i was miserable it's not something that i enjoyed doing but i was taught that it doesn't matter if you know you enjoy what you're doing you have to do it because otherwise you're being lazy which i get we do make excuses and i understand that however over time i have learned that it actually is important to enjoy what you're doing when it comes to exercise. There are so many forms of exercise out there that why is it that I have to only do a certain thing in order to lose weight? That's how I felt. So for me, over the past few years, I've started to pay attention to what it is I actually enjoy doing. What am I willing to be consistent in doing? And one of those things is walking. Walking works and it's highly underrated, but it works and I will tell you why. I believe I've mentioned this on my channel before but if I have not and you have not heard this story before some years ago I did Weight Watchers and I had success I lost 40 pounds but due to things in my life I ended up giving up gaining a ton of weight okay blah, blah, blah. there was a woman in my class who lost over a hundred pounds in a year and she did that by walking every single day that's all she did and that has always stuck with me. She wasn't going to the gym at six o'clock in the morning. She wasn't on the elliptical or the treadmill. She was just walking around in her neighborhood every single day with friends or by herself. That was it. And it took me a few more years to understand, oh, I don't have to be like everybody else. I don't wanna be like everybody else. I'm not here to get buff and like gain a bunch of muscle and be like super slim and fit. Maybe that'll change down the line, you know, depending on where this journey takes me. But for right now, that's not my intention and that's not my goal. But I really enjoy walking and I enjoy looking at what's around me, which is what I hated about being in a gym. If I was on a treadmill or an elliptical, I would get so bored because you're stationary and you're looking at a TV or whatever is ahead of you. I need movement. There are some exercises that I do enjoy doing which is why right now my um, workout routine is essentially going for a walk for about an hour. Then I come home and I use that app that I showed you. I do a four minute arm workout and I do the seven minute squat workout and that's it, I'm done. So I just wanna say, if you are somebody who's intimidated by other weight loss channels because they're doing these amazing challenges and workouts and you think, oh, that's not something I really wanna do. I don't know if I can do that. Just do, do whatever you want. There's so many types of exercises out there. If you just wanna go for a walk every day, go for a walk, it's okay. We don't have to do what everybody else is doing. I have lived my life doing things I think I should do that I feel I'm supposed to do. And it turns out those aren't things that I wanna do. I'm doing what other people want me to do. I'm living out their beliefs that they've put onto me. That just went into a, like a mini random tangent there that maybe I'll touch on that subject at a later date, but trust me, it makes sense. <laughs> Walking is awesome. It is beneficial. Highly recommend it. Um, hello, little bug. Where did you come from? Hi, yes, hello. It is officially August 1st. And that means that I have made it through one month of calorie deficit. Also, I have been back home for officially one week. So my biggest worry about coming home was eating because my mom is feeding me. That's how I am saving money. But she has been helpful with, you know, taking me to the grocery store and letting me pick out foods that I want to eat. So that has helped tremendously. And to give you an idea of how I've been eating for the past week, just so you can see how many calories I eat each day. <laughs> I ended up doing really, really well. I even got below 2,000 on some days, which impressed me. <laughs> so I did maintain that calorie deficit. That's today. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> As you see, the MyFitnessPal says that my calorie intake for the day should be 2,170, but with Jordan Syed's calculations, it was like 2,800 calories. I'm not eating 2,800 calories. 
as you can tell. So don't worry about that to anybody who freaked out about that. And this is how I did for the month of July when it comes to walking. I really wish I knew how much I weighed right now. So the last time I measured, I was at 50, still at 50. I'm gonna give leeway because I'm wearing a, a sports bra, but uh, yeah. 54 and a half. Okay, so far impressed. 51 and a half. Ooh, half an inch. <laughs> if I make it snug, it's 54, but I am like, <laughs> I am too cautious, so I'm gonna say 54 and a half. So the final results right here. As you can tell, I stayed the same in the chest, but I went down half an inch in my bust and my waist, and I went down a full inch in my hips. What? <laughs> See, that's the last time that I measured, which was the 26th, which was not that long ago. But again, like I wasn't sure what I was measuring then, but there has been change. I am honestly impressed, even though I can't weigh myself. Measurements are very helpful and they are accurate, so progress. So that's how I'm doing so far. And hopefully you can see a difference with me being in a different environment. <laughs> it's going well for the most part, I will say that. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you. Take care of yourselves and I will see you next time. Bye.